Leonard Miller. And I'm glad that the guy that you're higher on is Hood Shafino and the guy you're lower on is Leonard Miller because I'm the opposite. I've got Miller much higher than Hood Shafino and I've got him, I think I had him sneaking into the lottery when I did my mock draft, a guy that had an opportunity to be drafted last season coming um, from Canada but ended up going to the G League Ignite. He's big. He's 19, of course, because everyone is. He's six foot ten. He's got a range of you know late lottery through to the end of the first round. He averaged 20 points per 36 minutes. The shooting is a little bit of a concern, but the finishing at the rim is really strong. He had solid usage playing on a team with Scoot Henderson. I think there's good defensive potential there. What are you seeing that worries you with Lyndon Miller? So the biggest thing that I hear being put out about the reason why people are high on him, and Josh, I'd be – I'd, I'd love to kind of hear your take on this while we're having this discussion is that they just, they like the motor and they like the effort that he gives, right? Like that's typically what I hear being put out on whenever they're talking about drafting a guy in early, like kind of mid to late lottery range. And to me, Josh, I just, I, I get it and I see it. I just don't value it as high as what other people are, are doing typically like within that like mid to late lottery range, I'm still looking for a guy who could potentially uh, kind of turn my franchise around. And if not, that I know for certain is going to be a starter on my team. Now, Leonard Miller has a lot of great redeemable qualities about him. His, his motor is second to none within this class. He is a tremendous rebounder. He has some unique grab and go stuff at his position too, which I think makes him a little bit more unique compared to some of the players, but the shooting form is is not pretty right um i think it's going to take a a certain type of team that where he is going to be a a high minutes high usage uh player i think that he'll make the most out of whatever situation he's given i just don't see as high of an upside with him and you know he's the defense is kind of wax and wanes the production is there in the g league and there's a conversation to be had about how big men stats can be a little bit inflated that within the G League, that the big man position really isn't um, as deep as some other places uh, within, you know, pre-NBA leagues and things of that nature. But it's hard to ignore um, the reasons why people like him. I just have him uh, lower within kind of that late first round range um, where you can kind of see that 28 on on the graphic. That's that's around the neighborhood I'm living with him. I, I thought I had him a little bit higher in my mock draft. I had him 15, so just outside the lottery. I had him um, uh, ahead of, obviously, of Hood Shafina, who I had in the 20s, who was the guy we just talked right. about. I don't... You talked about the motor. I, I don't look at those sort of guys. I was very down on, say, Colin Sexton, when that was one of his biggest things. Man, look how hard he tries. Like, oh, that, okay, in the end, everyone tries, and that doesn't... It gets you somewhere, but it doesn't get you to the elite level. And I don't look at Miller as that's his only redeemable thing. Yes, the shooting's a concern. It's more to me... The, the ability to to finish, the the strength, the speed, the burst, that sort of stuff is impressive to me. Uh, age, growth in what he was able to do from last year to this year as well. The shooting's not quite there, but I want to hear your your take on this. Like someone like a Jalen Johnson in Atlanta now who you know, struggled in his first year or two, but I thought really came on at the end of this season. And I can see Miller as being a, a player, not maybe not 100% the same as that, but with a little bit of that, in what Jalen Johnson brings, like some incremental shooting improvements, some, some strong rebounding numbers, some good defensive stuff where he can do a little bit of switching, he can do a bit of rim protecting. I can see him being that sort of a, a player. Like, is that off base to you? I don't think it's off base. There are some parallels within him, and I'm, I'm sure you're the same way, Josh. That there's really no perfect one for one comp no. with any sort of a basketball prospect, but. I think that the difference between him and a player like Jalen was I, I think that the notion with Jalen is that he was going to be a really good shooter at some point within his NBA career, you know, just kind of reaching back in the, the archives of player projection. I don't think that a lot of people are really even talking about that with Leonard Miller, which is really a stark contrast from why people were infatuated with him in the prior draft class when there was rumors that he was going to come out because he was a six foot ten, six foot eleven kid playing for the Academy in Canada. And really the the neat thing about him was, is that at his size, he was coordinated enough to execute a step back three. And now the one thing that I have said all season long, and I will continue to echo is that he made a great decision by going to the G league. He needed to go in a pressure cooker, get the most amount of development within a short time frame to make the most on whatever um, stock that an NBA front office would have in him. I just don't think that the perimeter based uh, play 
is quite there where it was projected to be with a Jalen Johnson, but the production value that he has, I think he has a leg up over a guy like Jalen Johnson when he came out. Let me ask you this question, and I, I, I don't actually know the answer to this, but is there anyone who's played for the G League night who's actually shot well? Because I think Kaminga didn't really. Jalen Green's numbers didn't blow us away. Dyson Daniels didn't. Um, Scoot Henderson shot poorly from three. Um, who else is even? Like, is there anyone who played there as a prospect? Yeah, Hardy. Who, oh, Jay, Hardy yeah, struggled. As exactly. Well. Shot horribly yeah. and then shot way better in the NBA. Is there anyone who shot well as a G League Ignite prospect? I don't think there is. Yeah, not any that come off the the front of mind. And then even if you look at what they're doing now in the NBA, there's really hard pressed to find a lot of those guys that have made marked improvements in their three point shooting too. Mm-hmm. So um, I don't know. The, the great thing about the Ignite is that they say, okay, what are you great at? Okay, let's focus on the rest of your game. And I think that's why Leonard Miller has so much value at his size is because whatever potential we thought we saw we had, that we saw with him as a shooter in Canada, he has grown so much in literally every other aspect of his game. And that makes him a very real NBA talent. 